Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the China Let's Play. This is episode 15. Yesterday we finished invading Xinjiang and uh, you know continued production, all of that stuff. As you can see, China is fully unified. These borders are beautiful. Well, unfortunately, we are missing a couple of provinces over here, just four. But still, we're looking very, very good. We even own Korea, so that's nice. Turkey has almost taken out Persia, but of course they're inactive, uh, so that is what it is. And Argentina is invading Brazil and somehow winning, already taking a city, uh, sieging another. And uh, well, I guess it's a possibility they will win. I guess we're gonna see. Looks pretty interesting already, though. Anyway. The rest of the world very well not too interesting, uh, Egypt is taking Sudan, taking almost all of it and uh, out of the Middle East as you can see as well, taking Saudi Arabia on, uh, Romania is inactive again, uh, yeah not that much happening, Netherlands is inactive as well now, so that's uh, interesting I guess, Australia is still active, looking at active people, there's only me and Australia, so we can actually end this at, well, whatever time we really want. If both of us decide we can retire, I don't want to retire yet. I want to take at least Mongolia and Tana too, and then probably uh, some Soviet land as well later on. So today we're gonna invade Mongolia, then Tana too, and we're also gonna prepare to invade the Soviet Union. That invasion shouldn't last very long, so we should be able to do that uh, without much of a problem at all. I'm gonna get my battleships over to like Vladivostok so we can prepare for. Uh, taking Sakhalin mostly, but our army is strong enough to take on the Soviets very easily, even the, their entire country, not just the land we want. We only want like uh, Vladivostok, Khabarovsk in uh, general, this area, the far east, as well as uh, well a little bit over here, and that's basically it, something like this, and you know, we're done, so we really don't need that much at all. But anyway, let's invade Mongolia. Uh, so declare war, hopefully no other country declares war on us, but India might, uh, we should be able to handle them though, probably at least, I guess we're gonna see, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start invading, I'm gonna take this province over here, we have enough uh, units to actually take them out easily, hopefully without any sort of problem, I don't think we will have any problem, we have a lot of units here and a lot of high level, strong, very powerful units, so uh, Shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. I mean, they have low one light tanks, like, man, that's not gonna be hard to take out, let's be damn honest. So, we're just gonna try to take all of this. As I said, it's Mongolia, they have low level weak units, not many of them either, so uh, this shouldn't be hard at all, as I said, like, this should be very easy. Uh, we're gonna do the same to them as we did with Xinjiang, probably, so uh, it's gonna be a victory, at least most likely i mean let's be honest it will be it might take a bit more time than one day but uh it should be something like Xinjiang, maybe even better honestly maybe we'll just uh, fully annex them in one day i mean that's also a possibility you know who knows i guess we're gonna see tomorrow then we'll know so yeah there we go gonna take all of these cities shouldn't be a problem there's gonna be casualties probably but shouldn't be too large either so there we go we're invading with a solid amount of units let's actually check that uh, try to check it accurately as well so boom and uh, we're gonna count a minus nine there's nine here so that's a uh, 40 uh, 50 55 or something minus nine that's let's say 46 units so that's plenty that's enough for the soviet invasion as well uh, so yeah Anyway, we also have a bunch of units here and here. I'm gonna upgrade my units, I have. I really don't have food, but we're gonna upgrade the light tanks at least. We're using food for production, that's the reason we don't have any. And then we're gonna stop producing after this, I guess we're gonna upgrade our units and then we're gonna invade the Soviet Union. We really don't need a stronger army, so that's why. Because, well, the Soviets are pretty damn weak, weaker than all us. They have a weaker army than we do. And we have 209 units, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, so considering everything we don't need to build any more units we can upgrade them and we probably will but there's really no need to build any more so that sounds good to me anyway that's another 10 infantry won't be able to upgrade it yet at least so yeah let's actually try to pick all of the light tanks in our country uh can't pick these okay we didn't great 
We're just gonna take all of these and try to upgrade all of them. Actually, we don't have a metal, we have 1400 metal, so that's not happening to say the least. This is a production though, and the construction as well, so that's looking very, very good actually. We have level 6 light tanks researched now, so that's insane. And really don't need the higher levels now. I'm, I'm not gonna research them even because we can't upgrade them. Uh, and we don't have the enough time to actually do that. So there's really no need to research right now. To produce either, you know, we have a large, very powerful army. Uh, it's day 17 here. We are the wealthiest nation by far, 28%. The more gonna see army size and army strength. And uh, we will definitely be the first and strongest army. I expect a possible 12% or so. Maybe. Well, definitely larger than 10. But I guess we're gonna see then. Anyway, we're named Mongolia. There's really nothing else for us to do. Uh, we got a bunch of units all around. We might send them over to the Soviet border later. But we're probably gonna prepare to invade tomorrow uh, with the Mongolian units and uh, all of that stuff. I guess we're gonna see though. We're really just gonna hold here in the north and then we're gonna just try to take this, which isn't really much land at all. And then this, and you know, that's an easy victory. We really won't need that many units either. So, yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys with the next one tomorrow. Uh, so, tomorrow we're needing to prepare the Soviet Union, probably invading Tana 2 as well. And the day after that, we'll probably invade, uh, you know, the Soviets, the Far East, and so on. And then we're gonna end it. So a couple more episodes. Definitely not more than 20 episodes uh, for this let's play. Probably 18 or something. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. See you then boys.